and the whole world against him. So the conflict uh, started when Tesla mentioned in his some of his works that he created waves with supraluminal speeds. Yes, through the earth, also, also around the earth. So that means you that Tesla has uh, as, as an excellent experimenter, which everyone believes in, uh, has made waves travel faster than the speed of light. Yet he was also the first who noticed that electromagnetic fields influence human brain function. Because the human brain is an electromagnetic oscillator as well, and all the resonance of the human brain actually feeds to the resonance of uh, of ionosphere, stratosphere, of stratosphere, ionosphere, and the, and the atmosphere as well. So uh, we are heavily influenced by electromagnetic environment. That, that, that was what he discovered, telling in, in a letter to his friend Johnson, uh, telling that uh, if you stay in a certain electromagnetic field of certain properties too long, then you experience time shift. And he, in great detail, he described what he experienced. He experienced uh, certain images which were completely uh, real. And probably after that, I mean, it was uh, 1899, and after that he uh, prolonged experimenting with it, but there are not so many, many facts of that. But actually, that's the essence of his uh, understanding of electricity and electromagnetic spectrum uh, because he thought that uh, ratio in between homogeneous electromagnetic fields are the time coordination of electromagnetic uh, entities. And that was uh, one of the theoretical aspects of his mathematics as well. Which were very simple. simple. Extremely yes. simple. But experiments were, I mean, <laughs> still got the unraveling. Like, Until yeah. now, no one was, instead of a couple of engineers from the United States of America that used to work for the uh, US Army or Brother Corps, US Navy, Brother Corps, Brother Corps, Brothers Corps, yes. no one has been able to reproduce. Um, the experiments in such grandeur. Uh, yeah, the, the problem is that Tesla was not university man, so he was not giving uh, lectures at university, he was uh, not uh, writing article, articles which we normally see as scientific, I mean, footnotes and so on. So he was not explaining anything. He had a vision, and uh, literally he was describing the vision, so there is no explanation in between. And there is no that uh, theoretical uh, the theoretical exposure, which is normal in, in, in the work of any other other scientist. You know. But his experiments and his results were absolutely the greatest, based on an excellent, literally excellent uh, interpretation of mathematics. So physical interpretation of mathematics was one by one, which is a direct or univocal correspondence of those notions, uh, because he all that experienced as a vision. So that's a kind of a special... But where does this, this vision come from? from? In uh, Tesla's mind, there are some uh, stories from that's his childhood yeah. telling about there um, is a story. the that you can almost out-of-body experiences that he was experiencing in his early childhood that um, modulated his thought till till the old age? Yes, probably in old age he actually acquired much more knowledge and understanding, but he was not so much interested to present it to the public. Why? <laughs> so there, there was like a 30 was year pause travel through time in know. his work. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what he was doing in the last 30 years of his yeah. life. This is 1905, and uh, he, he died in 1943, so which meant 38 years he was working uh, pretty secretly. Yes. So there are many things about the works of Nikola Tesla that are being pushed under the rug, and uh, 
we yeah. personally think that this institution where we're talking now, the Tesla Museum should open up all the archives to the outside world and that everyone would be able to uh, browse through all, all the articles and images and notes that Tesla was making throughout his work. Theory of relativity is exhausted. I mean, those ideas are completely exhausted and there are no, no, no new experimenting uh, on, the, on the basis of uh, Einstein's uh, conception. And uh, also the quantum mechanics, you see what happened in, in the cell and uh, what, uh, what also happened with uh, fusion and so on. I mean, experimenting in vain because those conceptions of, uh, uh, of uh, quantum mechanical engineers or scientists were not profound enough. So what is left? I mean, it is completely unexplored, more or less, and which has a great potential of, 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 of the new physics, or physics of, uh, of maybe uh, uh, using technology of uh, infinity, maybe because it is actually the light, the, the, the light energy. Uh, is uh, Tesla's uh, theory, which has to be, I mean, it, it, it is actually proved, but which has to be conceived on the proof he left on the measure, measurements of superluminal uh, velocities, also of uh, instant, instant transmission, transmission of, uh, of energy. Energy and is the key word here. Tesla yes. uh, was throughout the whole of his life uh, trying to uh, uh, conceive yeah. Tesla has to be rediscovered. materialization of spirit uh, yeah. and the um, essence of free energy. What, what we see now in electricity would never happen if there was no transmission of, of um, alternating current through Tesla's work. So after 100 years of, of, of his work, we are currently experiencing the energy crisis that can only be solved, in our opinion, by going through the works of Nikola Tesla that were uh, in front of his time, I think maybe 100, 200 years. The so planet Earth is the, the rotor of a magnet, so as you have so you have <laughs> some of the this, zero, you have yeah. a phase in the ionosphere, you, you, you can take energy if you know how, and Tesla knew how. Some of his paintings were focused also on the sun's energy, and uh, <laughs> One very interesting painting is um, a machine for the usage of what he called radiant energy, which is actually energy really for nothing. And this is the only from ether, the only ether, machine yeah. that was patented and is working that is producing uh, electricity, all about small amounts of electricity out of nothing uh, that we call nothing, which is empty space in the science books but uh, what we call ether and that has been evicted from science and nothing is for hundreds of years of the universe. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> if Tesla was saying that time was related to a delta and homogeneous um, electromagnetic flux, right? he's relating to time. Did he have a theory of gravity as well based on this? Or? Yes, yes, yes. I know with GGC. They were together. GJC yeah, was a very, very interesting man. He worked from uh, American Navy at that time, but he was, you know, <coughs> seen as a pretty curious, I mean, uh, sort of strange, let's say strange. Mm -hmm. So um, he and Tesla, they, uh, in so called ether and gravity notes, they have conceived the dynamic theory of gravitation, which is completely I mean, wild stuff, so nobody really tested it ever. Simply it stays like a, like a 